we're going to talk about the different perspective in medical between Ibn Sina and Li Shizen. Stay tuned! Introduction What is medicine? Medicine is the art, science, and practice of caring for a patient, managing the diagnosis, prognosis, prevention, treatment, or palliation of their injury or disease. The scientific form of medicine are now known as traditional medicine and folk medicine. There are three preventions of medical care. First, primary care medical services. It is other health professionals such as physicians, nurses, and practitioners. Second is secondary care medical services. It is clinics or local community hospitals. The third one is the tertiary care medical services, that is specialist hospitals. There are three differences between prehistoric medicines and modern medicine. First, prehistoric medicine used incorporated plants while modern medicine used vaccine. Second, prehistoric medicine used spiritual system while modern medicine used drugs from plants. Third, prehistoric medicine discovered from ancient Egyptian medicine while modern medicine was discovered by modern biotechnology. Li Shizen Perspective in Medical His Life Background Who is Li Shizen? Li Shizen also known as Dongbi. He was a Chinese herbalist who born in Chichun and Hubei. He got exposed with herb in his early life and he used to heal the son of Prince Zhou. Then he became a doctor of Imperial Medical Beijing at the age of 27. The Grand Compendium of Materia Medica The Compendium of Materia Medica There are some medical practice written in this book. For example, medical practices from herbal medicine, acupuncture, cupping therapy, massage, bone setter, exercises, and dietary therapy. This book also tells about herbal medicine like Artemisia, which is an aromatic and bitter testing plant that is useful to cure cough and many more diseases. There are also a prescription about dragon bones that are used as tonics and creams to treat illness. Acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine also effective to treat epilepsy. Lastly, the book also records about an experiment of datura flower that has been conducted by Li Shizen himself. The Pulse Diagnosis Pulse Diagnosis is a book which emphasizes all about the understanding of Li Shizen's 27 pulses and typical pulse combination. According to the book, the pulse is essential to get a quality of Chinese medicine. Pulse diagnosis is usually done using tongue, three fingers, and pressure. It also, it also said that simultaneous pulses indicates two sets of waves. The Shizen divide the pulse into yin and yang vector. This division is important to know whether the pulse are from a balanced pulse state or not. Acupuncture treatment and Chinese herbal medicine Acupuncture treatment and Chinese herbal medicine Firstly, the Shizen used the concept of dynamic balance between two complementary power which are yin and yang. When harmony exists between yin and yang, a person's body is considered as healthy. Secondly, how to cure patients who suffer unbalanced power. If these two power fail to balance each other, it will lead to the emergence of disease. So, patients are required to be treated using traditional remedies like acupuncture. Thirdly, the importance of meridian network in our body. Meridian is a concept in traditional Chinese medicine. medicine. We have 12 meridian networks in our body. Meridian network actually can help us to reduce symptoms of disease. Ibn Sina's Perspective in Medical Ibn Sina's Life Background Who is Ibn Sina? 
Abu Ali Al Husin Ibn Abdullah Ibn Al Hassan Ibn Ali Ibn Sina, which is also known as Abu Ali Sina, was born in Uzbekistan. He was a Persian polymath and was known as Avicenna in the West. Avicenna was an Aristotelian philosopher. His most permanent book was the Book of Healing, an Encyclopedia of Philosophy and Science, and the Book of Canon Medicine. His most popular writing was in astronomy, alchemy, geography, geology, psychology, Islamic theology, logic, and mathematics. Ibn Sina's career in medical life. Ibn Sina was one of the most remarkable Islamic rationalist researcher. He started his medical studies at the age of 13 and has successfully become a distinguished physician. His medical skills brought him to the attention of Sultan of Bukhara who was successfully treated for a serious disease. His most significant clinical works are the kind of medicine. Furthermore, he was the first to portray chorotid sinus, which is a dangerous disease that made a heart rate and blood of a person drop suddenly. Ibn Sina was also a pioneer pulsology, and he also made a significant commitment to cardiology. The Canon of Medicine The Canon of Medicine was a book of Islamic medicine influenced by the medical practices of Galen and Hippocrates. The simple structure description of medicine made the canon made it known to be clear and ordered summa. The canon also revealed the entire medical information available from ancient and Muslim sources at the time. Furthermore, the canon of medicine divided into five books. The books described 760 drugs in addition to explaining pharmacological methods and became the most authentic material medica of the period. Ibn Sina was also the first to describe meningitis and make rich contributions to anatomy, gynecology, and child health. Ibn Sina was called as the father of modernizations as he was able to find the cure for new disease. Ibn Sina as a psychiatrist In order to treat his patients, Avi Sina also used psychological methods. One incident was when a Manulis Persian prince had melancholia. He refused to eat and struggled from the illusion that he was a cow. Avicenna said to the prince that a cow needed to be properly fed in order to be a great flesh for people. The prince was then offered food and eagerly ate it. He then managed to get rid of his delusions. And the pulse diagnosis. Ibn Sina uses the pulse to distinguish type of disease. He found that the pulse variance is related to sex, age, and psychological conditions. Ibn Sina also claimed that pulsology can also diagnose various diseases, and it is proven as he managed to find 50 types of pulse in various diseases. In volume 3 of the Canon of Medicine, Avicenna addresses that respiratory disease, like asthma, is one of pulmonary diseases that were recognized in his day. Similarities of Ibn Sina's studies and today's research There are some research on the pulse that have the same outcome as Ibn Sina. The first is the concept of pregnant women that have quick and regular pulse was clarified by Smith in a report. The second is, Rosie had confirmed that the outcome of today's research on heart rate and blood pressure that rises during gastric distinction was in conjunction with action with Avicenna's principles. It has been 1,000 years since Ibn Sina defined the characteristic of normal abnormal pulses, yet his comments on the pulse are still valid today. Analysis Relation to Philosophy Metaphysics According to Metaphysics, what makes Avicenna Suits the title father of early modern medicine and how his workpiece is still relevant until today? Avicenna Suits the title father of early modern medicine due to his intelligence and dedication towards his work. Avicenna was an important compiler of early Muslim medicine and he is remembered in the Western tradition of medicine. Nowadays, some of the experts use his books to make reformation in many fields. According to Metaphysics, what reasons make Lishizen face extreme weight loss? 
he lived indoors for 10 straight years and loses a ton of weight after completing his book, The Compendium of Materia Medica. This book took 27 years to be published. In order to find a cure of disease, he worked tirelessly to complete this book. Epistemology According to epistemology, how Avicenna can be seen as a person who loves knowledge endlessly. At first, he was puzzled by Aristotle's metaphysics, but then, understand it by reading Al-Farabi's commentary on the work. To remember all the details in the book, he read the book for 40 times. According to epistemology, how Lishizen write the principles and species of roots and herbs. He classifies the elements of herbs and drugs for the treatment of diseases in his book. The contents in the book were arranged neatly to make the readers easier to understand the book. Disparities between Li Shizen and Ibn Sina The first similarity that can be seen in Ibn Sina and Li Shizen is they contributed a big part in the medical field. Their researches are used for today's studies. For an example, the canon of medicine had become a standard textbook for popular medical universities. Li Shizen's work also bestowed a great help for traditional medication studies. Li Shizen's research on acupuncture and herbal therapy can be seen in the Grand Compendium of Materia Medica. Li Shizen managed to find cures with the help of herbs. The second similarity is both of them studied the pulse as a way to analyze disease. Different traits between Li Shizen and Ibn Sina. There are several differences between Li Shizen and Avicenna. Li Shizen is a traditional philosopher of medicine, while Avicenna is a modern philosopher of medicine. Li Shizen did some research on plant, while Avicenna did some research on human's body. Li Shizen also used herbs to cure diseases, while Avicenna figured out some diseases like carotid sinus hypersensitivity. Li Shizen is not known by the whole world, while Avicenna is known by the whole world because there are several schools and universities were built using his name. Conclusion In this research, we found that modern medicine is better than traditional medicine. It is because modern medicine can straighten our body, prolong our lifespan and cure sickness more effectively. As we know, traditional medicine requires herbs and plants that have not always been accurate because people have still died from simple disease such as chicken pox or a common cold. Nowadays, medicine cannot often heal us, but it can decrease the efficiency of our symptoms and straighten our condition. Aside from that, in this field of study, Modern medical medication is better than traditional medication is because of the modern technology as it can accurately detect the illness. As we already know, the traditional treatment often use pulse to detect the sickness but not all the illness can be detected accurately. Hence, the modern medication is always better than the traditional one. For example, the fattest development can be seen by using the ultrasound and the transplant organ can also be helped by using the modern medical technology and the damaged organ can also be replaced with the artificial organ. Hence, modern treatment and treatment are superior than traditional treatment.